In this episode, we visit an abandoned movie set, which reconstructs a famous military event that took place in Shanghai during the Second World War. I'm sure most of you never heard about it before, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Bob, an urban explorer, and with friends I explore the most amazing abandoned places worldwide. I'm on the road in China with Robin and Charles and we are on our way to a movie set which reconstructs the area about a famous military event that took place during World War II. Yeah, I saw it. Looks cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. While most people think that World War II broke out when the Germans crossed the Polish border, another important part of World War II already began in 1937, the Sino-Japanese War. The Imperial Japanese Army invaded Shanghai. After holding back the Japanese for three months, they had to retreat due to heavy losses. The Chinese Army retreated into neutral territory, but one battalion had a heroic last stand. This 25-meter, six-story concrete building called the Sihang Warehouse. It was once the warehouse of four banks with thick solid walls and was stocked with food, ammunition and medical supplies. A real fortress. The only problem? A little more than 400 Chinese soldiers had to take it up against 20,000 troops from the best division of the Japanese army. This is how the real building looked like in 1937. The building still exists today and is in use as a memorial museum. The warehouse is the first building we'll explore. Luckily for us, the warehouse is only guarded by dogs instead of soldiers. By barking, the security gets alarmed for possible trespassers. We wait and nobody shows up, so we start exploring. So glass is imported in countries maybe a hundred years ago. Okay. So before 100 years ago, there is no glass in China. So that's why in the beginning, I mean a hundred years ago, you can see some glasses in the ancient buildings in China. Mm -hmm. You will see it's all look like the Western church style. Beautiful. Oh, movie props here. Italian painter. Italian painter. Yeah. How Venus, it's a god. Yeah. How she was born. Oh, okay. One of the most famous paintings in Europe, I would say. Oh, it's the god of love. You're right. Venus. Yeah, it's also called after a planet. Men are from Mars and women are from Venus. I don't oh. know how it's in Chinese, but. In Chinese, we call it Mars is the planet of mm -hmm. fire and the planet Venus is the planet of Goat. Okay. Really cool to see the differences. In this floor is the 
soldier fighting floor. Okay. In the movie 800, right? Yes. But it is a real story what happened real here story. in Shanghai. Yeah. It happened in 1937. Mm -hmm. The Japanese invaded Shanghai. The defense of the Xiang warehouse took place between October 26th and November 1st in 1937. And from this military event they made a movie called the 800. As I told you before, a little over 400 soldiers retreated in this building. The movie is called 800 because the commanders lied about the number of people that actually were inside the warehouse to prevent being overrun by the Japanese army. When they retreated, they burned down closed structures to create an open kill zone, constantly reinforced the warehouse and manufactured sandbags with the warehouse grain sacks. Day by day, waves of Japanese attacks were fought off by the Chinese army, something that nobody expected. But they failed in the end. Yeah, failed. Yeah, sad story. And you can see there is a river. Mm -hmm. The river is named Suzhou River in Shanghai. And uh, lots of the citizens, they swim across the river or they will walk through the bridge across the river because opposite the river is the concession territory. The territory over there is owned by some Western countries okay. at that time. So it is being protected. protected. Yes. Security? The structure is Xinjiang and Shai. Nice bamboo ladder. So the security guards, they drive around? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> E-bike. All right. So you don't hear them. Drives around? This way, this area. Okay. Um, you can see it's restaurant, bars and clubs over there. So when the war is happening, foreigners, they're just dancing there and mm -hmm. watching here, killing people. <sighs> Crazy. <Yeah. laughs> Crazy story, man. The th real thing about this story, like Charles explained, is that just 55 meter, 60 yards away, residents of the protected international concession could see the war played out. This area was divided by only one bridge. So why was this place chosen? With this almost suicidal act, they tried to create courage for the Chinese soldiers and citizens and to get support from the Western powers. Journalists were also located here and released press articles for the rest of the world. Another benefit is that from the concession zone, they could not get attacked because it's a protected zone. The Japanese could also not use bombs or mustard gas because of the nearby concession zone. Chinese spectators were cheering on the defenders and helping them with information about the enemy movements, food and medicines. It must have been really weird for soldiers to stand here and see heaven and hell was just divided by a stone's throw. As you can see, the streets look pretty fancy. Back in the 30s, Shanghai was called the Paris of the East by some. The city was modern, glamorous and had the most skyscrapers in the world besides New York and Chicago. They worshipped the Western culture and many buildings were constructed in Art Deco style. Papa's gonna love that. Yeah, yeah. It's really nice if you can walk around there, yeah? Crazy. Yeah. So those Chinese characters over there mm -hmm. means no fire. Yeah, you see it often in factories, yeah. Yeah. When you travel, you don't get away with speaking only English or French. That's why I started to learn Spanish a while ago for my future adventures with Babbel, the sponsor of today's episode. It's a proven way to help you start a new language in just three weeks. And the bad thing about it, instead of following boring lessons, you learn real world conversations in a fun way. Todos preferíamos el pelo largo. There are 13 languages to choose from. So click the link in the description now to download Babbel. With my link, you will get 60% off. So try a new language today. Thanks, Babel, for sponsoring this episode. Yeah, here you can clearly see it's a movie set. Oh, 
So we're at the top floor now. Probably a good view. Oh yeah. It's just for the view, right? These are the ammunition boxes. The movie props for the ammunition boxes. This could be German. It's a foreign company. It's nice to be on the roof here, yeah, to have a little bit of overview where this is located. Uh, Maybe we have to watch out, you see, with the people. Maybe they can see us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. I think it's better to just go down. Old school elevator. Yeah. Bye bye, see you. Cigarettes box. Tobacco and cigarettes, okay. Day by day, the fightings became more intense. By example, a wounded Chinese soldier jumped off the roof with grenades, killing 20 Japanese soldiers. Because the fighting was so close to the concession zone, the battalion was allowed to retreat on day 5 to the protected zone. Most Chinese defenders reached the protected concession zone by crossing the bridge on the night of November 1st. There's a dog inside, right? We also gonna try to get to the other side without being spotted by security. It's like, do I have to be quick? <laughs> Although this act gained a lot of attention. China had to wait four years, when Japan attacked Pearl Harbor in 1941, to receive Western help. Bob. We have to be fast. From this point, we easily can be spotted by security. We made it. <laughs> well done, guys. <laughs> this is a secret camera. Okay. Oh yeah. Just gonna move. Nobody to go. Is he there? Okay, go. The architecture is also a mix, right? Like yes. Also other influences. Yes. Uh, my friend told me that um, this is a luxury place, a most luxury place at that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bob, you can see mm -hmm. the English Monday, Tuesday, yeah, and Sunday. Yeah. The so gambling 24 hours, seven days a week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it feels like uh, Las Vegas here. Also, when you see the signs outside, all the neon signs. Yes. This is the interior of one of the casinos constructed in a beautiful Art Deco style. It has the most beautiful interior of this movie set. In the movie itself, you don't get to see this place a lot, but the building gives us a glimpse of what Shanghai looked like in the first golden age of Shanghai, just before the Japanese seized most of the international settlements in the end of 1941 after the British and Americans left.
you can see this street is really fancy at that time. All of the mm -hmm. restaurants and clubs and dancing places, music halls. From this angle, spectators would watch the war like a bizarre sports event and help the soldiers with movements of the enemies, food and medical aid. Also this water tunnel plays a role in the movie. In one of the nights, Japanese soldiers sneak inside the warehouse, trying to ambush the Chinese soldiers. For us, this angle is also perfect to keep an eye on the security. Luckily, he's busy with other things. Time to move to another part of the movie set. Beautiful. Also casino. All casinos. Vegetation quickly takes over the streets after being abandoned since 2018. But you can see the security makes still use of these deserted streets. Oh wow, look at that one. Toothpaste. Nothing. Some kind of lobby. Just checking the security situation for us. Let me tell you a bit more about the movie set. The movie The 800 took 10 years in total to make. 68 buildings were specially constructed for the movie and it took 18 months to build. Filming took place between September 2017 and April 2018. The budget for the movie was 80 million dollars and it was the first Chinese movie shot completely on IMAX. After being delayed for a few times, it finally got released in August 2020 and it was the second highest grossing film of 2020. What is this? It's just some old fake news? This is advertising for medicine. Mm, like herbs, Chinese old herbs. Sixty-four people. Ah, yeah, figurants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Figurants. Yeah, accounting their labors.
After checking the streets for some interesting interiors, it turns out most is empty and we call it a day. If you want to see and learn more about the Siang warehouse defense, I highly recommend checking out the movie. <laughs> Time to leave. Good job. Good job, man. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and thumbs up if you liked the episode. And subscribe to our channel to stay updated about our future adventures.